how can I make myself happy? <laughs> She's good in the hood. That's what I gotta go and own in the hood. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is my first real wig, by the way. Just so you know. She's gonna look great, don't judge her. Takes time, takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day. It was built in 15 minutes, people. So don't give me that excuse. Get it together. Hello, UFO, duh. How do you think the pyramids are built? Uh, duh, don't get me started. For everything else, there's YouTube. Binge watch that. I said binge watch that, not bitch watch that, but you can say bitch watch that too if you wanna watch that too. If you wanna watch that too. You know you wanna want to. This is so good. Oh gosh, this is so good for her hair. Good for me, baby. I'm having my Amy Grant moment, you know? Oh yeah. So I don't know what's more soothing is like putting her in curlers or like steaming the shit out of her. Because this is just so like, oh like, the moment that like I really love the most is like right after the steam, you get like the brush and you get like that feeling of, that's not the feeling I'm looking for. I mean like the feeling, you know, of like softness, you know, softness. Now if she was a real girl, she'd probably punch me already because of like how hard I pulled her hair or she would have probably asked her more depending if she would be into that. I don't really know. I didn't. I didn't ask her. I said, baby, my bed is amazing. And I'm single. And I've lived with my mother. Would you rather date somebody who lived with their roommate or that lived with their mother? Live with their mother. Probably. No. Live with their roommate. You would want to date somebody who lived with their mother? Why wouldn't my I? I'm asking you, the mother, if you dated a man who was like in his 50s and he lived with his mother? Are you really? Well, no. Okay. Really? You really? I'm shocked you'd even like consider that as like a yes of a half of a yes. You're right, you're right, you're right. Unless you really want to take care of his mother. No. If you want to mother her, you can tell I like rotted her up. She's like so like Captain Jack Sparrow. Isn't she great? She's coming along so nice. No worries. It's their problem free philosophy, you know. It's a problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. No, I honestly didn't go to cosmetology school or to hair styling school on purpose. You should have gone to fucking Cosmo school. You should have fucking done the shit. You should have been a real gay. Instead, you were hiding in the closet. I was not hiding in the closet. I was hiding on stage. Thank you very much. I'm not hiding anymore. I'm just doing me. No more hiding. You know what I mean? No more hiding. If people don't like it, too bad. People don't like what you do. Too bad. I have zero fucks left. Wait, hold on. Oh, I'm all out of fucks. I wish I could help you. If I had any fucks left to give, I mean, I would give you the first fuck. But I already gave them all away. Namaste. Like, Avril Lavigne. I try not to make things complicated, but it tends to happen that way sometimes. I guess I would have to pin it, huh? Ugh, but I feel like it's just such a time sucker. Son of a sheesh. Fucking rat it out, why don't you? More ratty. Oh, I was on the back the whole time? The whole time. Ugh. Whatever. She's looking pretty good. Look at this bitch. Isn't she ratty? Don't you think she looks rather slutty? Wouldn't you think she's a girl? A girl who walks dirty streets. Look at this hair, it needs to be cleaned. I swear this bitch must have fucked Mr. Clean. Look at his hair, you know she cleaned his floor. And everything. Oh, found a hole. <laughs> but who cares? No big deal. I want more. Oh, that's why. Okay. Common sense isn't so common, people. That's why it's like a secret. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't tell the stupid people because they wouldn't get it. <laughs> right? That's why they're like, common sense isn't so common. <gasps> Look, I found the secret stash. But who cares? Shh, nobody cares. <laughs> Duh. 
And you know why she's got gadgets and gizmos of plenty? Because she fucks all the sailors, fucking slut. Fishy slut. Sorry, Ariel. You know I love you, girlfriend. Hello, Prince Eric here. I have a right, okay? Thank you. But who cares? Nobody. No big deal. Well, then stop singing about it. I want more. Yeah, because you're a greedy bitch. Nobody ever caught on to that. Everybody always wanted to be like Ariel. Like fucking Marsha. Marsha fucking Marsha. What about Jan and Cindy? Who's fucking outcast living in the shadow? Like fucking Ashley Simpson. Living in the shadow. Like literally. You still don't hear anything about poor Ashley. We love you, Ashley. We should start a movement. I turned off the steamer. That way you don't waste the water and the power. I got the power. You could probably like do that song like for somebody if you like you cut their power. I cut their power. That'd be shitty. What would you do for a Klondike? Nothing. I don't like them. Did you ever like a Klondike fucking bar? No. I always felt bad because I always thought it was like made from like polar bear milk. You know what I mean? I really feel like Klondike bars are made out of like polar bears lactated milk as a child. Like it would taste like funny cream like milk anyway. And like they had a polar bear as their slogan. Like hello. Gross. Fucking Klondike bar. I remember that one commercial of like that one lady who was like working at a dry cleaner. First of all, really, she looked like a librarian, but whatever. And she's like, I'd climb the Mount Everest or whatever. Fuck, she'd probably blow some guy too, just for a fucking Klondike bar. And I'm thinking, oh my God, this bitch is fucking crazy. And she's climbed, first of all, nobody would get away by climbing this like dry cleaning mount that holds all of the clothes. She'd break it probably in real life, you know, because of course it's a commercial. And I had to like move the cable into the shirt because it kept getting like hit. You kept hearing that? Yeah, I heard it too. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so exciting, you guys, because I'm like doing something grown up and responsible. It's called taking care of my shit, right? Okay, so that's good. She's good there. She's good there. She's good there and everywhere. Oh, that's where all the damage was done. Oh God, Eric. You know what though? At least I'm learning. I'm learning, you know, you gotta learn. If you don't learn, then, that, then you don't learn. And if you don't learn, then, you know, how do you advance in life? Oh, it's probably not a spot to pin. 